Good day, good day, gang. Your old pal Uncle Gasly here. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about um, Core Gadget for the Nintendo Switch. And what a horrible disappointment it was when I bought it. I, uh, I, I always loved music gadgets and stuff, and so when I, I, I saw I could make uh, music on a Nintendo Switch, I, I had to get it. And I figured, okay, it's the Nintendo Switch has got USB, so so Korg will, uh, you know, make it so that you can plug uh, a, a USB uh, MIDI device into it and uh, use it as a uh, controller to play all the virtual instruments in the synth, in, in, in the synth engine there. But uh, unfortunately, Korg just sort of half-assed it and they did not give any sort of MIDI support to this product, which sucks. And um, but, uh, so I, I, I played with this uh, a few times, and um, uh, I, I hated it, and so I, because I, I, playing with the, 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 on the touch screen and stuff like that, it, it just wasn't fun. It wasn't like playing an instrument. It was more like uh, uh, noodling around with a, a step sequencer or, or something like that. I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. I'm a, I'm a guy, I don't really, uh, when I create music, I don't step sequence that much. Um, I usually just play. I play the parts I want. I want a bass line. I play the bass line, I, uh, and 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 so on and so on. So, the lack of MIDI controller support was a big, big turnoff for me. So I bought the damn software and bought uh, down, uh, bought some of the the the, uh, the extra instruments for it and uh, played with it for a bit, and then got depressed with it and and said, "Oh, screw this," and. Uh, then uh, I heard that there was an update to the software that gave it support for a QWERTY keyboard. And you could uh, play, play the instruments with the QWERTY keyboard. So I, I have tons of QWERTY keyboards, so I tried out a QWERTY keyboard and uh, I loved it. <laughs> it, was, it was great on the QWERTY keyboard. The only problem was uh, the keys. They're, they're way too small um, on, a, on a QWERTY keyboard. It, it's, if you've ever played with any music app that uses the QWERTY keyboard, then you know what I mean. It's it's just it's just too small. What I needed was a um, a, a keyboard that had uh, bigger keys on it, and um, uh, so I uh, um, uh, first I, ha I had an idea. Well, if it's got keyboard support and it's just sending out ASCII, um, then uh, what what I could do is uh, I could probably use an Arduino and uh, build a 5-din MIDI uh, to Arduino and then the Arduino translates the MIDI data into uh, uh, keyboard strokes and sends that out over USB. And that would have been a, a really good idea. So I'm starting to look at designing that and uh, then I thought, well, you know what would be even easier is they sell these these things which are like basically like a keyboard that uh, just has connectors for where you would wire the keys to it has it has no keys right and and people use these to build all sorts of custom controllers so i started designing a uh, a, a custom controller for for the uh, the switch and uh, i uh, um because one of the things that i noticed that was really 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 fun was if you hit the tab key here, um, the 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 the, the um, uh, instead of being the uh, uh, the keys laid out like a piano keyboard, it's just uh, um, the three four rows of of keys, and you can set the scale on the instrument there, and it'll play that in those in that scale, and so. I thought, oh, and I tried that out, and it was fun, because um, it uh, it it brings you out of your box a bit. Um, I always find when um, uh, you have a, a, a controller, like I'm a keyboardist, an accordionist, primarily, and um, when you have uh, an instrument that takes you out of the familiar, you can sometimes get like really wild accidents happening and stuff like this and and it's it's exciting to learn a new new instrument uh, I got I got so many instruments in this room <laughs> and and uh, some of them I play better than others 
but I, I love getting new instruments and, and, and learning how to do it. And so um, I, I thought instead I would um, arrange the, uh, I, I, I build a custom controller that arranges the um, uh, uh, switches in, in rows stacked on top of each other. Sort of like a like a big uh, like an MPC kind of kind of thing, um, and that would make it really fun to use with the uh, with the um, uh, thingamadoob the uh, the switch in scale mode. And um, as I was designing the uh, the uh, controller, it it triggered a memory in me as I was looking at it, and it reminded me of um, back in the 80s. I used to work as a systems engineer for a company called CompuCenter. And um, it's, it's gone now. Uh, it died in the 90s, I think, early 90s. Anyways, um, uh, we uh, dealt with uh, uh, Fortune 500 companies all across Canada. Um, uh, Kodak and Coca-Cola and, and GE and Camco, which is also gone now. And um, we, uh, so I, I designed these systems for our clients. And uh, one of my clients, uh, one of our clients, was uh, visually impaired. And so the sales rep uh, was able to track down a keyboard for the visually impaired that has bigger keys with, with higher contrast on them. And I was like, this, the, this controller I'm designing reminds me of that because the keys were laid uh, one on top of another, like this, right? They, they weren't that staggered layout that a normal QWERTY keyboard has. And I was like, that reminds me of that. I wonder if they still sell those uh, uh, giant uh, keyboards, because um, that'd be pretty sweet. And um, so uh, I looked on the um, uh, internet, and uh, sh sure enough, um, they, they do still sell those uh, keyboards for the visually impaired, but they're like $150. And I was like, ugh, if I'm, uh, you know, it's, it'll be cheaper for me to actually, well, maybe not much cheaper, but if I'm going to spend $150, I want it to be exactly the way I want it, not a compromise of, of how I want it. So that, that idea was shot down. I went back to uh, uh, designing a, a, a custom controller for the, the, the Switch. Uh, but then, um, uh, on the Amazon, it, it gives you, like, you know, when you're looking at things and then it gives you ads, oh, this is similar and this and this, this. It showed me uh, this thing right here, which is the same damn keyboard, except this one's candy colored and it's, it's designed for kids. It's like a, a, a keyboard for preschoolers. And the keys on it are are huge, right? <laughs> like, look at the, look at it. Okay, let me let me get a, a regular keyboard here. In a sec. Like, look at the size of the keys on that thing compared to the keys on a regular keyboard. Like, these keys are are huge, and that was pretty much <laughs> what I was looking to build custom, and it was only like thirty five bucks. So I bought this thing and tried it out, and I, I freaking love it. It, it works. Uh... It, it works so, it works so well with the, the Nintendo Switch. So, um, I, I, I'm just gonna use this for now, but I, I still might build my custom controller, and I'm still toying with the idea of uh, building a 5-din MIDI uh, to keyboard uh, thingy output uh, with an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi or, or something like that, probably Pi Zero. And uh, but uh, for now, uh, this thing works great, and and I really enjoy uh, making songs with it. So um, why don't we why don't we just I'll show you how 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 it works with the software. Yeah, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see the software too well because I got only a little switch light. And, um, and yeah, so let's, I can't, <laughs> here's a old man eyes problem. I can't see any of the stuff from where I'm standing. Ah!
Okay, I'm not going to make a song. <laughs> I thought I was going to make a song, but um, all you'd see would be the back of my head because of where I've got the camera set, and uh, I can't see my Nintendo Switch Lite from here. I can't see the screen to know what I'm doing, and so I'm not going to make a song. But this is pretty cool. So if you have a, a Nintendo Switch, and um, you uh, uh, are a musician, or not even a musician, you just want to goof around because it's a, 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 fun, a fun little uh, thingamadoob to, uh, to, to mess around with. So, um, yeah, get this thing. It's, it's only uh, um, uh, 35 bucks, um, and uh, you'll need a, a USB to USB-C, but you probably just plug it into your dock or something like that. And uh, this is fun. Um, since I got this, I've used the Nintendo Switch uh, a number of times to uh, compose uh, music, and it's uh, it's it's fun. It's it's a fun thing to play with now. I hated it. I absolutely hated it because Korg so half-assed it with with no MIDI support. And um, but now I I love the software because it would be nice if it it still needs some more features, but uh, it, uh, it's usable now. It's actually uh, a nice piece of production gear uh, now uh, for for making beats and stuff like this. I don't think I I do a whole song in the Nintendo Switch anyways. I think what I would do would be just make little beat uh, make little beats and stuff like that, and then sample them and 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 then uh, put them in uh, in the sequencer or, you know thingy and and play it like that, eh? But uh, yeah, no. Get, get yourself one of these. It's a pretty sweet deal. Anyways, uh, that's it.